I'm Dr. Stan Dysart, and this is the Marietta Daily Journal Health Connection, connecting you to your health and your life. Americans are suffering from an obesity epidemic. The numbers of those considered overweight or obese are staggering. Billions of dollars are spent on diet programs, and for some, these are effective. But others have chosen a surgical solution. We have this report. Steve Hoffnagel's footsteps are lighter these days, about 150 pounds lighter. I was 369 pounds the day of surgery, and I now weigh 198. Last year, Hoffnagel joined the ranks of hundreds of thousands of Americans who chose a surgical solution for their obesity. It's called bariatric surgery, and it's been around for decades. But recently, the market for such surgeries has dramatically ballooned, along with our expanding waistlines. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say one out of every three Americans is considered obese. For many people in this category, including Steve Hoffnagel, the problem was apparently too big for dieting alone. I would lose typically 60 to 75 pounds and then fall off the wagon and then gain that back plus more. Dieting wasn't working, but neither was Hoffnagel's life. I had no energy. Just typical things people take for granted, like sitting in a chair were a challenge. I had to be careful what kind of chair I would sit in so it wouldn't fall underneath me. So last year, this father of three decided on bariatric surgery, which today consists of four different options. All of them essentially work the same way. They limit the amount of food a patient's stomach is able to take in or absorb, the end result being significant weight loss especially for those that are morbidly obese. Uh, 14 months ago, I wore a size 60, and now I wear a size 36. Hello, Steve. How Dr. Dennis you? Smith, medical director of bariatric medicine at the Advanced Obesity Surgical Center in Marietta, Georgia, has been practicing in this area of medicine for 15 years. He says the surgery is not just better and safer than it used to be, but now there's a much greater emphasis on keeping track of the patient after surgery. We've come to recognize the importance of support and follow-up afterwards. Uh, the whole program approach to bariatric surgery is one, one of the changes that's come along in, in recent years. So we don't just operate on them and turn them loose and let them do whatever. In fact, patients sign a contract that has them agreeing to lifelong follow-up visits after the surgery. And even prior to the operation, patients must meet certain standards before getting the bariatric green light. First, they have to meet the National Institutes of Health Body Mass Index that determines just how overweight they are. And that's just the first of several steps. One is to get approval from your insurance company or to be able to pay for the surgery yourself. Um, the other is to go through all the pre-testing to make sure that you are a candidate, that you're healthy enough. It's a fine line. You're sick enough that you require the surgery, but you have to be healthy enough that you'll be able to withstand the surgery and all the things that, that go with it. Things like specialized diets, nutritional supplements, support groups, and regular exercise, not to mention the possible medical complications. This surgery is not risk-free. These operations are all pretty significant operations that we, we do. We get up to the very top of the stomach. There's a lot of structures around there that are potentially at risk, so it's not to be taken lightly. And if the risks don't give you pause, the price tag might. Between fifteen and $35,000, depending on which procedure is selected. Most medical experts stress that major surgery should always be the last resort. Steve Hoffnagel's operation was successful, and he couldn't be happier. I feel wonderful. It's been a life-changing experience for me. I can get on an airplane now and fit in the seat, and uh, you know, people don't look at you aghast as you're coming down the aisle to get in and don't have to worry about where I sit down. And I'm just treated, treated better, treated, treated differently. My only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. For the Marietta Daily Journal's Health Connection, I'm Dr. Stan Dysart.